Welcome to this week's Kids Connection. I'm your host, Christopher James, and if you like sports as much as I do, you're gonna love this week's episode. We talk with Cindy Shook from the Branson Parks and Recreation about the fantastic sports programs that they have here in Branson, including tennis, golf, and my favorite, bases ball. We also get to talk with Pete Hershend from Silver Dollar City, co-founder of Silver Dollar City. How about that, kids? And as an extra treat, I even teach you how to do your very own magic trick using a ball at home. Welcome to this week's Kids Connection. Christopher James out here at the Branson Recplex. I love the Recplex. I've been coming out here since you guys opened, what, it's been 10 or 11 years ago? It has been. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I used to go up there to the workout thing and all that, use the gym. But we're out here with Cindy Shook. And what is your title? I'm the Parks and Recreation Director. The Director. Yes. So direct me as to some things you have going on out here at the pool. We're out here at the pool today, in case you didn't notice. So what do you have going on? We're excited about the pool this year, starting out with our lessons. If anybody needs to learn to swim, hey, this is the place to go. Yeah, yeah, I think you I talked do. to Bunny earlier, our yeah, pool yeah. manager, and she leads our swim lessons. And we've got them for starting at one and a half all the way to age up to age adult. Yeah. And so anybody that wants to learn to swim, they can learn to swim here and we'll give them lessons. Yeah, my kids did it last summer. Oh, I have great. twins and they came out and we were over there and it was Fan they loved it. Yes. They, in fact, they're asking to do it again. They told me that they forgot, <laughs> so that they, they I forget how to swim, so they can, they can do it again. Well, but. we've got different levels. I mean, again, starting with toddlers all the way up to uh -huh. to preteens. It's pre funny watching them, isn't it? Absolutely. The toddlers and yeah. stuff. Yeah, our lifeguards do, do a great job. Oh and, yeah, they do. Yeah. And then uh, on the last day, if I remember right, they got to go down the huge slide. Exactly. That's, that was like a big. That's deal. like the treat. Hey, if you pass the lessons, you can go down the slide. There you go. That goes yeah. for adults too, right? Exactly. Let them go down. Exactly. Do they go down by themselves or in tandem? I think they go down by themselves. <laughs> okay, they had to ride with somebody, I think. Exactly. Uh, so you got uh, swim lessons going on, but you also have like a new swim thing going on, right? Aren't you putting together like a swim team or more? We do. We, yeah, have a, we have a competitive swim program and it's called the Branson Waves. And we have almost 100 kids already on the team. And 100 kids on yeah, the team? Yeah, it's crazy. It's uh, Swimming is really popular and yeah. they swim every morning like at 6 a.m. There's a 6 a.m.? There is. They swim early in the morning no, and, and they, they practice their strokes and, and uh -huh. And do all kinds of laps, and and then they swim competitively on the weekends yeah. uh, versus they other. And do yes, it they or? travel, and uh, for example, this weekend they're going to Claremore, Oklahoma, oh, and wow. all kinds of different meets. So if you want to get involved in competitive swimming, the Branson Waves is definitely the place to go. There Coach go. James Grimmer, uh, he's fantastic, and we'd love to have you on the team. Oh well, you don't want me on the team. <laughs> well, it's, it's, anybody on the team. Yeah, you don't want me. Your kids? How about that? May, well, they're they're four. Okay. They might be a little small for My, that. When they get a little bit older. Yeah, I had to take swim lessons myself. I joined the Navy okay. uh, in college, and then uh, after I was all signed up, I revealed to the uh, the recruiter that I probably should take swim lessons. Oh my gosh! I had never been I, swimming. I don't know said, they let you in the Navy. Well, if that's you pretty don't... much what he said. Yeah. You might have mentioned that before you joined the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Because the Navy, we tend to be in the water. Exactly. So. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have that. So how often do they meet for the every day? Waves every yeah, single day. Yeah, they practice now that school's out. They practice every morning, Monday yeah. through Friday, rain and rain or shine. Yeah. Don't yeah. you think it's funny, though, when people are swimming and it starts sprinkling and they all run out of the exactly. water? Exactly. Yeah, our coach, uh, James Grimmer, uh, they're going to get wet swimming. He doesn't believe in canceling practice just yeah. because it's raining. Yeah, so I, I think, it's I rain or shine for sure. Rain, exactly. So. so you got the waves. Yep. You have the swim lessons. Do you have anything else going we on? We do. We have mm -hmm. some fun events this summer called uh -huh. Tropical Tuesdays. Oh, and they're on every Tuesday exotic. starting on June 14th. And it's a really fun thing. we got a live DJ here. So a lot of fun music, a lot oh. of games. Yeah. Hula and and yes, stuff. absolute hula hoops and limbo what? and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. yeah, a lot of fun games, concession specials, snow cones. It's a really fun day to come to the pool. That sounds like a lot yeah. of fun. It, that it sounds is. amazing. So, yeah. Well, cool. Well, come out, check out the programs out here at the Branson Recplex. 
cool. Do you have a special name? It's for called it? the Aquaplex. The Aquaplex. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Aquaplex. Yes. Aquaplex. So come out. To the Aquaplex, do you have uh, special age requirements for kids that want to come out? I mean, I'm sure you don't want people dropping off like a five-year-old. We right? do. They need to be at least age 12 to be out in here on their own. On and, their own. Uh, they can be yeah. 12 and up. Absolutely. So. Oh, that's fun. And yeah. what are the hours? Our hours are Monday through Saturday, uh, noon to 7 p.m., and seven. Sunday, noon to 6. Really? Yeah. And they can go to the website, I'm sure, uh -huh. for the uh, Branson Recplex. Well, yeah. Do you know what the website address I is? I do. Yeah. Bran BransonParksAndRecreation.com. There you go. So go to the website. Just to check for special events, and you can read more about the Aquaplex. Uh, Absolutely, I love that name, yeah. By the way. So thanks for talking with us, Cindy. It's great. And come out and support the Branson Parks. There's so many fun things to do. We're going to try to keep highlighting different events, outdoor events that you can do, and not sit inside on your iPads and your Kindles and all that. Get outside. Yeah, yeah. Get outside. We'll, we'll see you at the pool this summer. There you go. Bye bye. Now it's time for another fun magic trick that you can all do at home or when you're out with your friends. I love this. I used to do this trick in my show and people kept asking me over and over and over again how to do it. So I finally decided to teach it. It's easy enough. Pick up your drink cup and show your audience that you can actually make it levitate. It'll try to get away from you, but you just bring it right back down again. That's right. Maybe it's a light drink. Maybe uh, you just need a refill. One of my favorite tricks to do, the floating cup. Here's the explanation for the floating cup. It's easy enough. Now you need a cup that's plastic or uh, styrofoam works best or a paper cup, like if you're at Starbucks or something like that with your parents or whatever. And all you do is you take the cup and you poke a hole in the back. I just use my thumb with this one, but you can use your, your knife or your spoon or key or whatever. You can keep that hole covered up with your thumb. When it's time to levitate, just slip the thumb in the hole, the cup will stick right to it. From there on out, it's just acting. That's right. I like to wiggle the cup a little bit. You saw me do it several different ways there to try to make it interesting. And uh, you can make a joke. Hey, I need a, a refill. Excuse me. Excuse me. Could I get a refill on this, uh, on this drink? The floating cup is easy to do. You can always hide the hole again when you're done. Just put your thumb over top of it. It's even better when you have a lid on it, of course. Now, when you poke the hole, here's a lesson that I learned. Don't poke the hole below the drink line. Maybe do it with a cup that doesn't have anything in it. I learned that the hard way. It makes a mess. We are out here at the Branson Recplex again with our friend uh, Cindy, here to tell us about some other great programs that you guys have going on that people in the area should take advantage of. Yeah, it's summer and we got a lot going on, starting with tennis and golf. If tennis you, and golf. Yeah, if you want to get involved in those, we have uh, clinics that'll that'll teach you all about uh, how to learn to play tennis and golf. Yeah, I, I need to learn how to play. You should make a sport where they're playing it together. Exactly. So you have that to be hit new. the golf ball with a tennis. Yeah, racket. that yeah, would really yeah, take some skill. I don't even know how many innings there are or any I know nothing nothing about sports but you have uh, instructors that come out and they have these clinics that you have and then do the kids then compete against each other do you have a little tournament thing we do mm -hmm. uh, in, in both of those we have little fun games and uh, instruction is the main thing we've yeah. got a uh, quick start tennis lessons for kids age five to ten five, so oh, little five-year-olds yeah. playing tennis well basically awesome. what we do is kind of change and adapt the game with uh -huh. different size rackets balls nets and that kind of thing and, and good for the little bitty oh. Oh, that's fun. And we want to teach them to, to enjoy uh, tennis at a young age. Yeah, right. So we've adapted and, and changed the, the nets and all kinds of things for them to be success, successful uh -huh. and start playing tennis. Oh, that's cool. So so they can come out and just sign up uh, like for tennis or for the golf or uh -huh. whatever. And you can get all the info at the website, which is? RansomParksAndRecreation.com. That's right. But you can sign up the kids and then they probably come out a few times a week or is they it like do. one week that it, they do it they all? They do. It's, it's two weeks and mm -hmm. it's on 
on Tuesdays and Thursdays, specifically the tennis. Yeah. And then if you're older than the quick start, um, uh, we have intermediate lessons starting at age 10. Yeah. So we've got something for every age with tennis. Yeah. Um, My daughter now, came out and did some of them. Did years she? Ago. Well, I have an your older kids daughter. are involved in a lot of they, sports. Well, they are. They, they do so much, I can't keep track of it. <laughs> but yeah, I know nothing about the sports, but the kids are joining them all the time. Sure, that's but you, great. Had the, you had the British one or yes. something. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, that was the soccer. Soccer clinic. Yeah, they had, the, well, there was the uh, football is what okay. they call it. Okay, oh, football, sorry. That's what the rest of the world calls it. Uh, but you had the football, then they did like cricket, and then they did uh, uh, rugby Yes. a little bit. Watching my uh, eight-year-old daughter or whatever do rugby was insane. That that's And a lot of kids, those are mainstream sports right they here are. in Branson. So mm -hmm. get an opportunity to, to participate in that and learn about that. You should take advantage of that. And we're I bringing so that too. back in August this year. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Because they had such a great time with that. I was that's here, great. I would come to all the practices and stuff. So there's a wide range of sports, not just American sports, but Absolutely. like sports that the entire rest of the world does. <laughs> And we don't do. That's right. Uh, so come out to the Branson Recplex. Go to the website, though, and you can see a list of everything, I'm Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Like a calendar or something that, of everything that's going on. But come out and sign up. Plan ahead because we had a hard time getting uh, the kids in some of the classes because it was pretty full. Yeah, so. we're already full in some of the tennis uh, clinics, but we have a second session starting in July, so that's available. Well, there you go. Come out and do the golf, do the tennis. Now, do you guys go to a golf course? We do. The... We go out to Ledgestone, and we mm -hmm. get to practice and on the driving range, and we have area professionals that help with the proper instruction and grip yeah. and all that yeah, yeah. and then the second day we go to our little par three golf course the don gardner and they get to uh take part in what they learned the day before and actually play golf oh wow. yeah yeah you don't want playing golf here uh, balls probably with the kids probably the not so that's yeah. a whole different sport yeah look into that though this is uh christopher james out here at the branson recplex with cindy shook come out take advantage of the great programs that we have in branson for your kids and for adults as well so come by and check them out go to the website and and stay in touch with us here at Kids Connection. Welcome back to Kids Connection. Our junior reporter segments have been some of our most popular this season. And right now we get to go over to Silver Dollar City and talk with co-founder Pete Hershend. We have a brand new reporter, Aubrey, that prepared some questions for the founder of Silver Dollar City and you never know what the kids are going to ask. These are completely unscripted, unrehearsed, and we let the kids ask questions from a kid's point of view. If you'd like to be part of one of our junior reporter segments, contact us at kidsconnection at gmail.com. But right now, let's head over to Silver Dollar City. I'm Aubrey with Kids Connection with, at Silver Dollar City. What do you like working here? What's your favorite part? What's my favorite part? Mm -hmm. My favorite part is to get out and do, uh, just talk with the guests, to be part of who Silver Dollar City is. Silver Dollar City is a lot more than just a bunch of buildings. It's people. It's funny people. It's people who are having a good time. Sometimes it's people who are sad. Our job is to make it a good time. That's very cool. Is there anything that's really cool to do here, like any rides or places to shop? Well, now, I think there's a lot of really cool things to do, but what's really important is not what I think, it's what you think. What do you enjoy most? Well, I think I like most of the roller coasters. The roller coasters? Which one? Well, I don't really remember all the names but I like all of them, really. All right, they are really exciting, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And some of them are really big and scary. Some of them, I, whoa, I don't know if I want to do that. Others are just right. It's kind of like, kind of like Goldilocks <laughs> and, and the three bears, and you, you get the, the bowl of porridge that's too hot, and then one's too cold, and one's just right. A lot of the rides are just right. The fastest one is the last one we put in. Do you remember when we put in Outlaw Run? Mm hmm And that coaster, it's all wood. And oh my, it takes off and it goes down that hill. I mean, you're going down a hill, just like that. You're going to whew, 70 miles an hour. 
That's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. That's faster than you can run, or all your friends put together can't run that fast. Mm-hmm. Is there any, like, good places to take pictures? Everywhere. Everywhere. But you know where one of the most popular places is? Is inside the Wilderness Church over there that you get inside and you take a picture out through that window at the beautiful Ozarks. People do that. And then a lot of, a lot of guys, gals, boys and girls will come out here and they'll get pictures with some of our, some of the street characters, like Shorty, you've seen him mm -hmm. walking around, and Sari Ellen, you've seen her, and you've been down to Fireman's Landing? Not yet. Oh, you gotta get down to Fireman's Landing. It's just right for you. It's made for guys your age and younger. It is perfect for you. You'll have fun. I bet my little brother and sister are fun too. I bet they will. What's, how, what's different from Silver Dollar City from other theme parks? That's, you know what, that's a really good question and an important one. And I'll tell you, it's, it's a fairly simple answer. And it's, it's very simply the men and women who are Silver Dollar City, the ones who work here day in, day out. They are who Silver Dollar City is. Um, you could build Silver Dollar City. You and I, if we had enough money, we could build it. It'd be like working with a bunch of Lego bricks. You know, we just build a huge Lego brick. We could do that. But Lego bricks or wooden buildings all by themselves, they're no fun. They don't do anything. What makes them come to life? It's the people who are there. So that's the answer for you. That's the best question you've asked. I'm Aubrey with Peter Hershen from Kids Connection, signing out. We are back at the Branson Recplex with our friend Cindy here, and we're going to talk about the bases ball. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Is that baseball. What? Baseball. I am not good at sports. <laughs> like, we've established that on many shows of me <laughs> trying to do sports. But, but you have a, a baseball league out here, right? You yeah. You have lessons, you have teams, you have tournaments. Tell me a little bit about what's going on here. Baseball's a big deal. We, we've got it? our own league, of course, our own Branson Local League, and we've got 82 teams in it. So that's over 1,000 kids. 82 teams? Yeah. Just in Branson? Well, they come from Hollister, oh. they come from Forsyth, they come from Branson, they come from Blue Eye, all around. And what so, are there, like five kids on a team? I don't know how long. More than that. More than that. Probably right. 12 or 13. Yeah. yeah. So, so how does it work? So you got the leagues and people sign up and do you do like a little dra they a draft do. sort yeah, of thing? They do. They can come in and we can put them on a team if they want to sign up individually or mm -hmm. they can bring in a whole team. And so Oh really? We've so got you could rig it? Yeah. And I could bring in like a team. Right? We're not going to let you rig it. We're going to put you in a more competitive league if you if your uh -huh. team is better. Yeah, 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 yeah. This goes back to my old story where I was on a golf league, and I am terrible at sports. And my handicap was like, I don't know, 107. Like, it was really bad. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. and, but I got pretty good throughout the year, uh, season. And so I ended up winning uh, the, the tournament. <clears throat> because I the, the handicap taken in. Sure, And yes. everybody thought I lied. Yes. They said, no, you... you Faked it. It's called low net. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. Low net. Is yes. There, is there a net in? Yes. Uh, in well, golf they're, now? they're they're factoring out your handicap. So oh, I see. Yes. And so people hated me. Yes. So I never golfed again. Uh, but, well, yeah. But you let's should try baseball to, then. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to see me do baseball. <laughs> I, I am so terrible at it. Like the first quarter, I am exhausted. Very funny. It's yeah. innings. Oh, innings. Yes, All innings. Right. So, uh, but you have the leagues, and what are the ages that you have? Well, you, you have can. T-ball. Yeah, no? we do. We mm -hmm. have um, tiny tot t-ball for three and four year olds. So if you ever want to laugh, just those. Kids are hilarious. Yeah, yeah. You don't know what they're going to do. They run the wrong way, all kinds of things. So uh -huh. 
you can start out three and four and then we go up to five and six and all the way up to 12 year olds and you once you get at that age it's more competitive yeah. for the boys and the girls yeah so you can come and you can watch the little toddlers running the wrong way it's much like watching the tourists drive the wrong way around it, the roundabout it's kind of like that actually it's kind of like yes, that it's yeah, fun to watch it's not quite as funny and they uh, don't take it near as seriously it's it's fun yeah right yeah but so they do that so they're on a team then they probably play each other here they do right and then you get other areas involved and you have like a tournament thing that goes on absolutely and um that sounds fun. And yeah. Because uh, I've been out here at night, and, like, every baseball field is just packed. And we do. people everywhere. We, we, play, we play the league at, at uh, the Recplex, and then mm -hmm. we also play games at uh, Stockstill Park, and we play at Alexander Park. So we go. got a lot of kids that play. It's a so fun time. Come out and play the baseball. Did you play yeah. baseball when you were younger? Uh, softball. softball. I mean, uh, yeah. I was more yeah. of a golfer, actually. Really? Um, yeah. That was low my, net? Um, Did you do that? Well, maybe something like that, so. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, that's good. But come out, get the kids involved in real sports where you don't have to use your thumbs to play them. Sure. That's always our thing. Get the kids off of the uh, video games. Yeah, video absolutely. Games. Yeah, video games, as Hank Hill calls it. But come out and actually do real running and uh, real playing and really catch a ball. Just be very, very careful uh, because uh, I got a black eye playing baseball. ball. It, and it so can happen. Be, and yeah, I mean, especially if you, if you ever come out on the weekends, we have all these weekend tournaments going on. Mm -hmm. And some of those guys, I saw a guy last year hit out in the trees. I mean, yeah. we've got some people that are traveling in here to play baseball on they the weekends. Or, yeah, they do. They, they and really yeah, serious. and we, we have, uh, I think, five World Series scheduled this summer to happen. Oh, yeah, wow. so That's if you nice. want to see some great baseball, we have teams from headed a team from New York last year, a team from Florida, all, all around. And so oh. we've got that happening on the weekends as International well. International tournament. That's what you should. you got you to come up with like a big it, name. The International Branson Exhibition. Sure. Of well, World Series kind of implies it's a big deal, but we can just, you know, uh -huh. International World Series. See, that, that name is too, yeah. too broad. Too, it's like having yes. Miss Universe. Sure. How do we know? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for talking with us Absolutely. out here. This is Christopher James out here at the Branson Recplex again. I love it. I used to come out here at least twice a day. It was really weird. But I'd come out, work out in the morning, and then come out in the afternoon. We'd take the kids on the trails and stuff. This is a favorite place for my kids to come out and bike, by the way. It's a great place. It is. So come by, visit the Branson Recplex. There's so much for you to do here in Branson and the beautiful Ozarks. Get out and explore. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Kids Connection. Contact us at kidsconnection at gmail.com through the website bransonkidsconnection.com or through the Vacation Channel. We want to feature your events in our upcoming season and cover any amazing kids that you might know. But for now, thanks for watching this week's Kids Connection.